Hello lovely and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. It is so lucky that you have found your way into my cottage today. I can sense that you are in need of some tranquility and rejuvenation. Consider the space a safe haven where you are allowed to sit back, relax and take a moment to breathe away from the requirements and worries of everyday life. Just now I am brewing a very special potion from fresh spring herbs. It is designed to fuel body and mind with fresh energy and vigor. And if you like I could perform a short ritual to help you call peace and ease into your heart. Have a seat at the table or lay down in the alcove near the fireplace and if you feel very tired, you may close your eyes while I work. These bundles strung up by the window are all herbs I have gathered during the magical time of midsummer. I call them solar herbs as they love the heat and light and they have been charged up with the power and energies of the summer sun. St. John's wort is a most powerful herb. It helps lift the heart and chases dark clouds off your soul. Chamomile, of course, is wonderfully calming to body and mind. A gentle spirit of a plant, aiding those who are looking for a moment of reprieve. I like to straw them into the fireplace and listen to the crackling when the flames dance around them to release their scent into the air. Take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale slowly through your nose. Smell the perfumed air circling through your body. And as you breathe out, you will feel all tension leaving your body. Take another deep breath in, inviting the healing energies of plant spirit and exhale while you feel your muscles relax. And while you take another deep breath in, let me apply this herbal salve between your eyebrows. It will help you let go of tension in your jaw and forehead. See how your muscles are melting into relaxation and your breath falls back into a natural pattern. I had the most magical morning in the woods today, gathering those young spring herbs. If you close your eyes and Open your inner eye, you can just imagine my adventures. At the break of dawn I wrapped myself in a woolen vest and made my way to the enchanted woods. My plan was merely to soak up the magic of spring after a few days of warm weather had adorned the trees and shrubs with an abundance of fragrant blossoms. With every step I took down the stone steps of my cottage, leading towards the little path, I let myself be woken by the cool morning air. Every step letting me sink deeper and deeper into a feeling of safety and adoration for the beauty of the natural world around. 
on a pink morning sky. The birds were already busy chattering to each other, greeting the rising sun with their song. Long stretches of purple tinted clouds painting a beautiful picture of the top of the trees in the distance. I made my way along the hatches of blackberry and hawthorn that only a few days prior were still looking bare and empty. Now white clouds of delicate blossoms had appeared providing a paradise for ladybugs and other little insects, enjoying the first warming sun rays on their wings. Did you know that the people of old believed that a female spirit lived in the hawthorn tree? Apparently it offered protection and healing to those who knew of it. And of course, we witches still know how to use the same energies of this wonderful heart-opening plant in our tinctures, potions and spells. Others believe these hatches were a portal to another world and if you fell asleep just underneath a blossoming tree during a magical spring night, you would be able to steal a glimpse into another realm. As I walked further, I arrived at the entrance to the enchanted wood of Stone Hill. It is said that in olden times, this was a sacred place of worship and prayer, where people still in touch with the energies of nature communed with the spirits of earth, plants and trees, where they gather to celebrate the turning of the wheel and the change of seasons. The young green leaves carrying the whisper of the wind still speak of those days, if you listen closely. When people paid their respects to the natural world and honored its power and beauty. In the woods you feel a peaceful energy that noticeably slows down your thoughts and steps. Fragrant sweet violets nod their pretty heads in the morning breeze and a soft carpet of moss provide a lovely bed for thimbleweeds. You might know them as wood anemone, the ancient Greek word for windflower. According to Greek mythology, they sprang from Aphrodite's tears as she mourned the death of Adonis. The witches gather to bring luck and protect against evil. Some say that fairies sleep under the paddles after they close at sunset. And when I am in this particular spot in the woods, where the sunlight falls in shimmering specks through the tree crowns, I sometimes can hear a faint silver laughter, distant like an echo. On my walk through the woods I decided to gather a few potent young spring herbs, violet petals and fresh stinging nettle make a most peculiar concoction when brewed just right. And with my pocket full of magical plants, I made my way back to the cottage where you found me. Now that the fire in the half has calmed down, 
I can hang the cauldron on the hook. By the light of the pink moon I have gathered some fresh spring water. They say it is the clearest, most pure, cleansing and magical one. Carrying healing and rejuvenating energies. We will use this as the basis for our brew. It won't be long until the water is boiling and bubbling. While we wait, tell me, my dear, what energies do you wish to call into your heart and body for today? What will aid you most in this very moment? I see. Well, let me stir this into the water for you. And now we add the herbs to lend their plant energies to this potion. Smell that delicious earthy scent with floral sweet hints of the violet petals. I like to inhale the perfumed steam and have it cleanse away inner unrest and tension. While the magical tea is brewing. Let me fetch you a cup so you can experience the calming energy of Violet, inviting you to trust your inner voice and judgment. The delicate taste, delighting your heart and senses, you will feel the gentle magical workings with every sip you take. As the warming liquid is traveling down your throat, you will feel a sense of peace and tranquility wash over you. And after you have finished the cup, the strengthening properties of nettle will have filled your heart with determination and new hope. Now I do hope you feel rejuvenated and relaxed and will be able to tackle whatever lies ahead with new vigor, a brave heart and fresh eyes. I hope you do visit me again soon and wish you a most magical day.